So guys, what you just saw right there was the moment I hit prestige one, level one. So as you can see right here, I got up to prestige one, level ten. So yeah, if you don't know how the new prestige seasonal prestige system works, I mean it's basically a combination of the old one and the modern warfare one. Here's a total. Right now, because this isn't even season one, season one comes on December 10th, there's a level cap of level 100, prestige three, level 100. And basically, every 50 levels, once you finish your initial 55 levels, every 50 will be a new prestige. And you get a prestige key and I believe an emblem too, or a calling card. So, I'm here, here just to show you basically my record so this is as you can see I got one prestige key the prestige keys don't do anything right now but once season one drops then it'll be able to do something not sh exactly sure what though because once you prestige in this game this is the first game where you actually don't lose your items when you prestige so it just automatically prestiges you and you don't lose any items so there's no reason to fear prestiging in this game. You get to keep everything, nothing gets reset. So as you can see right here, I am level 10 right now. As soon as I hit level one, I got prestige one, I earned my key and looks like that's a call, uh, an emblem, yeah, not a calling card. Then, one, then when I would get to level 50, I would get prestige two, the calling card prestige key. And also, I guess it'll also give me this reward, just a variant of the shotgun. And then when you get to prestige three, level 100 you'll get another prestige key and uh, uh emblem yeah not calling card then as you can see here my combat record just ignore the nine minutes of multiplayer all zombies so you see my my most used weapon is the die shockwave over 3,000 kills with it it's a very fun gun to use i haven't really used i haven't actually used the variants for killing zombies outside of the easter egg I've just used the shockwave. So as you can see, it took me just about, just a little over a day. I'm going to say around 25 hours-ish is going to be, 25 to 26 hours probably is where you'll get to prestige 1. How long it'll take you to go to level 1 to prestige 1, level 1. It does take a little bit of time, so you just got to be patient. And you'll climb up the leaderboards. Apparently, I'm globe for zombies. I'm four hundred thirty-fifth thousand four hundred sixty-two, which I don't think is that bad. I mean, I'm under half a million for the global rank. Oh, here, wait, hang on. There's multiple ones. This is hang on. Round based. Oh wait, hold on a minute. How do I check? Oh, okay. Depths arcade and onsla Oh, okay. Is that what they call normal zombies? They call it round-based? And then multiplayer, don't really got anything. For Dead Ups Arcade, apparently I'm 106,000. Apparently not many people at that point, Dead Ups Arcade. And for Onslaught, I'm 7,411. I've got even less people play Onslaught. I guess, I mean, it is only on PlayStation at the moment, but still. Intel, I... I've collected a fair amount of intel, I guess. Pre-season, okay, yeah. I've got a, just about, just about half of the intel. This is the player identity. Nothing really to show here. Medals. I've, I've got to kill five enemies within a short amount of time. When I, yeah, that's just killing crowds. I've got to more slaughter medals. Killed a megaton while it's caught by the die. Really only two... Kill three or more enemies rapidly who are drawn to your decoy. Yeah, I don't really use decoys that much. But yeah, slaughter's where I got the most field upgrades. Here we go. Oh, hide and seek. Kill five or more enemies rapidly while cloaked in the Aether Shark. Yeah, not really that many. Kill three more enemies rapidly affected by your Frost Blast. <laughs> I, I never use Frost Blast ever. It's so terrible. Kill three more enemies rapidly with an energy mine. That's 12 of these. And then 32. Kill 10 more enemies. Where people stay in your ground within Ring of Fire. Yeah. Kill a lot of enemies. And then this one. Kill 5 more enemies rapidly with the die. So that is what the dead is. I see. I see. And then here. If you wanted to go check out all my skills. 
basically, as soon as I completed that game, I used all my Ethereum crystals, so this is, like, everything got upgraded. I tried to get everything upgraded to level 2, at least. I didn't get all the ammo mods to tier 2, but, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff to tier 3 and tier 2, as you can see here. I haven't put Quick Revive to tier 3 yet, because I'm not playing with anyone, so it would be useless. And ammo mods, here we go. These are, like, the last tier 1 things I have to level up to tier 2. So... Yeah, once you get to Prestige 1, you'll still probably take well. It's probably not going to take that much longer, so in total, I'm going to need 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. I'm sorry, I did that math wrong. I need 35, 40. 45, 48 Ethereum crystals left. So, last game, I earned 18 Ethereum crystals getting to round 50. I did not do a successful exfil because of the Megaton zombie. He basically did allow me to win because of all his health and my shotgun, the Howler, wasn't that good. It was literally a tier... Th it was a... Epic tier, tier 3 pack-a-punch. It was a, yeah, epic tier 3 pack-a-punch one, and it was doing like barely any damage against him, so it was very hard to do a successful x fill and I failed at it. If it was for him, I would have definitely x filled because I killed all the normal zombies, but that was just that. And some gameplay, either if I'm posting this video first, or if I'm posting that video first, Nuketown is now in the game, Nuketown 84, so I'm going to be checking Nuketown out. Might go into game multiplayer once just to check out what the map looks like, then I'm going to do some Nuketown Onslaught, because this could be the third time Nuketown is in Zombies, really. Thank you all for watching. Give this vid a liking. Go subscribe for much more. Comments I don't ignore. And post notifications.